Hi, my name is Mukesh. In this video, I will talk about the adulteration and substitution of root drugs. So, these root drugs, which are of medicinal use, may be adulterated because of different reasons. And these adulterations are done by different methods. So, let's learn what is adulteration. So, the adulteration of a genuine or authentic drug is maybe intentional or unintentional or by accidental by adding the substandard or inferior variety of the drug which is having the inferior chemical and therapeutic properties. So these adulterations uh, may have a certain conditions like admixture or spoilage, inferiority, deterioration, sophistication and substitution. The reason for adulteration, there are many reasons uh, for this kind of adulteration but I have listed only few. The first is the controversy in the identification of certain medicinal plants due to the confusion in vernacular names. So some of the plants, uh, because of their uh, morphological similarity, certain similar names were given in the local languages. So there is a confusion in those plants when it comes to the identification, like Brahmi, like Puranava, like Sankh Pushpi. So these are some of the plants. Likewise, there are many other plants uh, wherein there is a controversy, the identification. Uh, the next is a morphological similarity. That means uh, the, some of the plants uh, which have the morphological similarity, they look like same or they appear same from outside, but they may not have the, uh, the phytoconstituents which is responsible for the therapeutic value and may be used as an adulterant from the authentic drug. Unscientific collections, so the drugs when they are collected from the fields, if the workforce who is collecting that is not skilled, may lead to the unintentional adulteration of the genuine drug. High price of the crude drugs, so certain uh, times, the, uh, certain drugs uh, in the international market or domestic market may have a high price and because of that, the supplier may uh, intentionally go for uh, uh, doing adulteration by adding the cheaper uh, substitutes for the uh, benefit so that can also be one of the reason next is the profiting that means uh, of course it is uh, intentionally to earn more profits by uh, adding the substandard and cheaper drugs in place of the authentic drug so these are the different type of adulterations of crude drugs which are done. The first one is a substitution with the substandard inferior commercial varieties. So in this kind of adulterations, normally the commercial varieties which are either having the substandard uh, chemical profile or may have the uh, inferior therapeutic value may be used to um, adulterate the authentic drug, for example, Capsicum annum with the capsicum minimum, or Indian senna with the Arabian senna or dog senna, Senemum zelenicum with the cassia bark, or the medicinal ginger, authentic ginger with the other varieties, some standard other varieties of the Cochin, African, and Japanese ginger. The next is a substitution with the superficially similar inferior and cheaper drugs. So, in this kind of uh, adulteration, normally the, the plants which may be related or unrelated and may not have the similar chemical constituents of course with the inferior chemical profile may be used to adulterate the authentic drug for example belladonna substituted by alianthus phytoleca and scopolia these three uh, plants alianthus phytoleca and scopolia no way related to the uh, belladonna but may be used as an adulterant indian dill with the uh, European dill, stromonium leaves with the xanthium. So these are some of the examples where in the inferior cheaper drugs can be used to adulterate. Next is a substitution with the artificially manufactured drugs. So in this kind of adulteration, uh, the drugs which are artificially uh, produced or uh, the fragrance which is artificially, uh, you know, uh, using the chemicals or the artificial colors. So such kind of uh, Adult trends can also happen. So the examples are compressed chicory in place of the coffee. So the coffee beans can be adulterated with the compressed chicory. Uh, yellow color beeswax, um, yellow color wax for the beeswax. So the paraffin wax 
by adding the artificial yellow color can be posed as a authentic uh, drug like the beeswax like black catechu with the compressed pieces of the clay and tannins is also another example for certain type uh, of the artificially manufactured uh, drug substitution the next is a substitution with the exhausted drugs so in this kind of uh, substitution the drugs which are having the volatile oil uh, the the active constituents of these drugs uh, is extracted and when they get exhausted out of these uh, important phytoconstituents which is a volatile oil again they are adulterated with the artificial fragrance to uh, show as or present them as uh, the the authentic drug and another example for uh, this kind of category is the artificial coloring of the exhausted saffron and roses the next is the presence of the vegetative matter so in this uh, kind of adulteration like epiphytes liverworts or moss growing on the bark uh, they also can be used to adulterate the genuine drugs of these bark like silicona bark or cascara bark next is a harmful adulterant or so worthless material in the adulteration so the examples are uh, like uh, pieces of the amber color uh, glass in the colophony limestones is a as a fighted a rodent fecal matter uh, to the seeds of cardamom and lead shots into the opium so these are very harmful adulterants so this is about the types of adulterations uh, uh, done into the uh, crude drugs so uh, these adulterations pose a uh, high risk uh, to the authentic uh, medicinal plants in the commercial market hence there are assessment methods to check the adulteration by using the uh, different uh, qualification uh, methods also uh, using the who guidelines and also uh, using the official monograph thank you very much